And joining us now, Democratic Senator Bill Nelson of Florida. He's standing by with us now. Sir, are you there? I'm here. Okay, let me first get your reaction. Just a short time ago, <coughs> Republican Senators Kelly Ayotte, Lindsey Graham, and Roger Wicker held a press conference criticizing this budget deal. Um, Senator Graham said that the cuts that would happen to the military retirees, the pension, um, was unacceptable. And he says that the Senate is rushing through a budget deal at the end of the year and should slow down to fix the pension problems as it relates to military retirees. Your reaction to that? I disagree with it. Uh, we are saving a $20 billion cut to the military. Uh, there are various fees that go into this, and this 1% cut in the cost of living for a military retiree, but at age 62, the COLA goes back to the full COLA. That's one of the trade-offs. My preference, I would not have preferred that. But in terms of the overall package, uh, you will find that most in the defense community vigorously support this legislation. As you well know, sir, one of the other um, trade-offs, to use um, the phrase you just expressed, uh, is the issue of uh, the extension of unemployment benefits. And our own uh, Kelly O'Donnell is reporting that some Democrats in the Senate may ultimately vote against this budget based on that. You in the past have said that no one will love everything in this agreement, but we all should be able to compromise to get something done for the good of the country. Is a delay of the unemployment uh, extension uh, uh, for the good of the country at this point? Well, unfortunately, uh, it uh, has to be done. I mean, think back to the last year, two years. This is about the first consensus building agreement that has been made. Uh, this is a necessary step as we get on into other things. And I think come uh, January the 6th, uh, one of the first items to be taken up mm -hmm. will be the extension of unemployment okay. compensation. All right. I think that uh, certainly um, many uh, who support your party um, may welcome that news. But I have to ask you what yes, is unwelcoming news or unwelcome news. Um, what our first read calls so far the least productive, least active, most unpopular Congress on record. Uh, the laundry list of things that concern, I think, the American people. Uh, passage of the farm bill. We know that there's still the issue of the food stamps and that continues to be a sticking point. As I mentioned, extending unemployment insurance, raising the debt ceiling by February 7th, increasing the minimum wage, which our new NBC News uh, Wall Street Journal poll shows 63 percent of Americans support that, as well as immigration reform. When you hear least productive, least active, most unpopular Congress, what is your reaction to that? Uh, I think it's an accurate assessment, and uh, I am as frustrated. Uh, I've never seen it like this, hard to get agreement. But all of those things that you mentioned, now that this budget agreement has been done, and this week we will also pass the defense bill, mm -hmm. those two big ones behind us, then we'll start going to every one of those things. Remember immigration, we passed about a year ago yes. out of the Senate. Mm -hmm. So we've got to get our brothers and sisters over in the House to finally take that one up. So in a sense, you believe that this budget deal um, will, I don't want to say open the floodgates because we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but it might allow for a trickle of progress, which would certainly be an improvement based on the record. I hope and pray so, Tamara. All right, Senator Nelson, thank you so much for your time. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Tamara. We are following developing news.